respected shri vinod singh rawat director jtri esteemed speaker of the day shri manish mehrotra advocate high court at lucknow and shri samir shah advocate high court lucknow anyway sir ahmedabad sorry uh, he is in ahmedabad advocate uh, high court uh, ahmedabad respected presiding officers of commercial courts and respected district judges and all other respected participants good evening to you all and i welcome you all in this two days program on expeditious disposal of matters relating to commercial courts and arbitration in lok adalat the forthcoming lok adalat will be the focus of this mr manish mehrotra the main speaker of this evening is well known to almost the entire up judiciary because he has already addressed many gatherings including respected district judges and respected commercial court presiding officers on arbitration and commercial court matters he is a practicing advocate with a wide range of experience in the field of study that we have taken the purpose as we all understand is to fetch maximum number of disposals in the forthcoming lok adalat how to do it what mechanisms could be adopted the way in which we could be we could focus on this will be the areas to be covered in which the respected participants have themselves a very rich experience let me slightly introduce mr samir shah because he'll be joining in between and getting involved in discussion so we will not have uh, time for his introduction mr samir shah is an advocate dealing in international arbitration and he is an international arbitrator mediator with an active legal practice of 27 years director chartered institute of arbitrators london founding trustee adbr bar co-founder and executive committee member energy related arbitration practitioner india chapter because he deals in international arbitration as well as in arbitration advise he is a member of advisory board in gujarat international maritime arbitration center he is a panel arbitrator on court of arbitration for art netherlands he is a faculty trainer mediator im campus germany founder and proprietor of su shaw shaw and associates ahmedabad india he is member national committee for legal services confederation of indian industries so the other distinguished speaker of the evening is also a very experienced scholar in the field of uh, arbitration particularly the international arbitration and his rich experience in the field i believe uh, will be very useful interesting enjoyable and will be a great addition to this evening after a tiring day uh, with the judicial work so without wasting any more time i would now request uh, shri manish mehrotra to initiate the discussion this evening and then it will be advanced and joined by mr shah and then there will be a discussion with the participants over to you sir thank you thank you answer thank you director sir for being with us this evening uh first of all a very very good evening to all of you uh, today i have we have i interacted with everybody on various uh, aspects of arbitration law so today we are treading on a new path and my opening remark would be that when you tread on a new path especially in context of commercial litigation and arbitration law you have to tread with caution so uh, i would very proudly say that allahabad high court and the judicial setup of uttar pradesh has been always a leader and a pioneer in so many aspects of the development and the march of law and this concept of 
bringing into the fold of lok adalats how maximum benefit can be taken for expeditious disposal in commercial matters and in arbitration matters also is a new challenge which is before all of us who are students of law and as i had last time said that when i come and speak to all of you it is not only that i am interacting but i myself find myself as a student and i have learned so many good things from all of you experienced judges by the various questions and the interaction which we have i would today request everybody that let this be a kind of an interactive session because uh, there may be brainstorming is a must i am not saying that for every question i will be always ready when with, with an answer i am also in the process of learning but then with little bit of experience which i have particularly in uh, result resolution of the disputes by arbitration uh, i am sure that i will also be in a position to assist you all with some kind of a, a road map that how and what our state should do for expeditious disposal of the matters through the process of lok adalat now when when we think in i am just introducing this topic and of course samir ji <clears throat> कितनी चीजों पे मैं आपकी आवाज सर क्लियर आ रही है और आप दिख भी रहे हैं हम लोग चालू कर सकते हैं बातचीत सर ये सुनिए आवाज आ रही है सर सर आप बिल्कुल क्लियर आ रही है ओके अरे वाह वेरी नाइस थैंक यू सो मच वो सो ओनली द विजुअल इज गॉन तो नाउ वाज एज आई वाज सेइंग कि व्हेन व्हेन वी थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ द होल कांसेप्ट ऑफ चांसेस ऑफ द रिजल्ट व्हिच वी कैन गेट in to by lok adalats in the matters commercial disputes and arbitration matters there are four acts which come to my mind which all of have us have to see and refer one of course is the code of civil procedure then there is the commercial courts act then there is the arbitration act and then there is the legal legal services authority act and i am sure that all of you know that the first uh, lok adalat was held in the year 1982 when honorable mr justice uh, bhagwati who was the uh, founding father of this concept of lok adalat held the first got held the first lok adalat in gujarat in the state of gujarat then the next one was held in kolkata in 1986 and 1987 the legal services authority act came into force so statutory recognition was granted to uh, lok adalats in the form of the legal services authority act 1999 again according to me was a very benchmark year in so far as adr is concerned because lok adalat is a one of the limbs of adr and section 89 of the cpc i want to refer and i would uh, i am mean, i am actually just emphasizing on one aspect of section 89 where the language will give us a sense of direction that how we have to go about and what actually can be considered in commercial matters in so far as lok adalat sir concern now if you will go through the language of section 89 you will find that two words in the initial opening uh, uh, portion of section 
subsection 1 where it appears to be known that there exists element of a settlement so therefore where it appears to the court that there exists elements of a settlement so which may be acceptable to the parties so two basic phenomena which originate in so far as uh, the uh, concept of adr because section 18 89 for postulates four mechanisms by which the matter can be actually sorted out without getting involved into endless litigative process one is the arbitration then lok adalat thereafter uh, mediation and judicial settlement these are the four aspects so the test is that the willingness of the party to actually opt for settlement is one of the key kernel factors and even while the stage of referring the matter to lok adalat is concerned as i said earlier when i started that we are treading on a new path lok adalat has been extremely successful in various areas of litigation but here we are specifically dealing with special laws now if i i will uh, just like to uh, refresh that both commercial courts act and the arbitration and conciliation act are special laws which the foundation of that if you read the statements of objects aims and objects either of the commercial court act or of the arbitration act the whole benchmark is expeditious disposal quick justice that is the essence so here we are dealing with two statutes in referring those matters to lok adalat which are already in place for expeditious and uh, early disposal so it needs a special handling so it is not every and all kinds of litigation which actually according to me can go into lok adalat some kind of Har the uh, the principle of uh, law of harmonious construction will have to be done, where this is a very interesting initiative, which has been taken by the judiciary of the Uttar Pradesh, that we can use the good offices of the uh, Lok Adalat to get the matter resolved between the parties, iron out the creases, because. now let us come in context to arbitration act now there are two situations in which the commercial courts would be dealing with all the courts dealing with commercial matters under the commercial courts act would be dealing with the arbitration which do stand a chance of some expeditious disposal through the process of lok adalat one is section 34 when the award is challenged between the parties and there is a direct Uh, judgment of the honorable apex court of india that even at the stage of section 34 the parties can settle and the matter is actually disposed of as a consent decree so i would request you that kindly note down the citation of this judgment which will be very handy for all of you 2015 volume 5 scc i repeat 2015 volume 5 scc page 747 and the party's name is y c bachen s s l w e b a c h e n versus superintending engineer so this judgment and the re relevant paragraphs are paragraphs 7 15 i repeat paragraphs 7 15 18 20 21 and 23 so these five paragraphs will very hurriedly give you a gist that how section 34 stage also the matter can be settled and the part willingness of the parties again is the catch word now if we talk in terms of section uh, of the arbitration act i am coming now to uh, the principle of commercial courts act in 2 minutes 
Section 30 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act provides that at any stage of the litigation, the arbitral tribunal shall make all efforts to can you hear me now so so, uh, so this is what i am coming back to it so therefore uh, there will be a lot of trivial matters small matters which the parties will more than be happy to get the matter finalized at the stage of uh, through the process of Logan. Now, when this topic came up, the first question which came to my mind was that whether in the real sense, the matters under the for Logan of commercial disputes and commercial nature and of arbitrations are actually referable to uh, the Lok Adalat. Well, the answer, logical answer which comes that if there is, no, if, if supposing there is no real advantage, then there is neither any real disadvantage. Because as the record suggests that last time when the Lok Adalat was held in particularly in context of section 36 as per the figures which have been given to me, a uh, substantial number of matters were referred to Lok Adalat, but then there were a disposal of about two, three thousand cases. So at least to that extent, it is a definite advantage and it will, I'm sure, catch up very soon 
in so far as this is concerned as a kind of a movement now one more now let us come to the uh, commercial courts act now section 12 capital a talks of pre litigation mediation now that is according to me also another provision which reflects upon the intention of the legislature and then a very recent judgment of the honorable apex court of india uh, which i am just going to refer because this is the purpose of our meeting today because in the kindly note down the latest judgment on this section 12 capital a of the commercial courts act <clears throat> the citation this is mesas patel auto automations mesas patel automations private limited versus rakheja engineers mesas patel automations private limited versus rakheja engineers 2022 scc online 2022 scc online supreme court page 1208 s 2022 scc online 1208 now there are two very important concepts which i want to emphasize and share with all of you in paragraph 57 of course this is this this pre mediation litigation in so far as section 12 capital a is concerned in this case the honorable apex court says that it is a mandatory provision so here was a case where a litigation arose and there was an objection that this petition on the principles of cpc that this petition on the face of it is not uh, to be tried by the commercial court concerned because the pre -medi uh, mediation uh, exercise has not been done so it is not maintainable <clears throat> the board below said that no uh, uh, it it accepted rejected the honorable high court said that no it is a directory provision and on this ground alone to defeat the suit <coughs> would not be a good exercise so they overturned the decision and the honorable apex court ultimately upheld the trial court but in that exercise the whole checkered history of litigation on directory and mandatory uh, uh, interpretation of the provisions has has been given but two just two ten sentences the honorable apex court uses and i say that precisely because of that today you and me are interacting here the honorable apex court says a new approach is needed a clean break from the past is needed now so these are the two things which actually attracted me a lot to this judgment and it is in a spirit with the efforts sensitizing programs the interactive sessions which all of us are having over here that we need a new approach and a clean break from the past so the new approach and clean break and as i said again that since we are treading a new path we have to tread with caution but this is a mechanism that where on a case to case basis looking to the willingness of the parties which is always the consistent mandate because the root provision according to me in this regard of adr also including uh, legal this uh, lok adalat is section 89 which says that where the court sees that there is a chance then obviously through the process of lok adalat this matter can always be resolved so these are some of the aspects which i wanted to share ha to ab hum logo ko jo basic cheeze hain agar main summarize karna chahu kyunki iske baad samir sir saab se kyunki lok adalat bhi ek tarah ke ki mediation ki exercise hai aur meri bhet kuch uh, mahino pehle samir sir saab se hui isliye aaj maine जे टी आर आई वालों से भी अनुरोध किया कि आपको भी आमंत्रित करके और हम लोग को इनके नॉलेज और एक्सपीरियंस का कुछ फायदा मिले तो जो ओपनिंग मेरा एक कमेंट है वो ये है कि हमें एक नई अप्रोच के साथ है 
ऐसा नहीं है कि कमर्शियल डिस्प्यूट और आर्बिट्रेशन मैटर्स में लोक अदालत फिजिबल नहीं है ये जो दो जजमेंट्स मैंने आपसे शेयर किए हैं रेड विद सेक्शन 89 देन सेक्शन 12 कैपिटल ए ऑफ द कमर्शियल कोर्ट्स एक्ट ऑल टेकन टुगेदर द पॉसिबिलिटी इज देयर बट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट हैज टू ग्रो वी हैव टू हमें एक बहुत गार्डेड uh, ढंग से इसमें कदम रखना है हम किसी को भी क्योंकि देखिए एक मिनट के लिए जो मैटर रिजॉल्व होते भी हैं लोक अदालत में तो वो कलमिनेट करती है कंसेंट डिग्री के फॉर्म तो जब तक पार्टी की रजामंदी नहीं होगी तब तक यह कह देना कि हम लोक अदालत से डिस्पोजल मेरा पॉइंट यह है कि लीगली पॉसिबल ही नहीं है वो हो ही नहीं सकता लोक अदालत में रिजल्ट तभी निकलेगा जब दोनों पार्टी सहमति देंगे और कहेंगे कि हाँ साहब इस मैटर को हम यहां खत्म करना चाहते हैं तो हो सकता है कि आज की तारीख में हम पचास हजार एक लाख या वॉट एवर दस हजार पांच हजार कुछ भी लिटिगेशन छोटे मोटे हम आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं कि एग्जीक्यूशन पेंडिंग है सेक्शन थर्टी फोर में भी हो सकता है पार्टीज आके चाहे कि छोटे छोटे मैटर खास तौर से जो आप लोगों के समक्ष हायर परचेज एग्रीमेंट जो गाड़ियों के लोन के संबंध में मैटर्स आते हैं या एमएसएमई के मैटर्स आते हैं बहुत देखिए एमएसएमई भी एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट है sure कि समीर शाह साहब उसको भी टच करेंगे कि एमएसएमई के भी जो मैटर्स आते हैं तो सारा एक्ट ही इसीलिए बना है कि भाई हमें स्मॉल और मीडियम स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज को प्रोटेक्ट करना है और फिर वो आर्बिट्रेशन में आता है मैटर स्टेटरी आर्बिट्रेशन है फिर अल्टीमेटली हमारे पास उसी प्रोसीजर से सेक्शन थर्टी में कमर्शियल कोर्ट्स में भी पहुंचता है तो बहुत सारे एवेन्यूज हैं जहां पे हम सेक्शन 89 आर्बिट्रेशन एक्ट का जो स्पेशल एक्ट है उसका ऑब्जेक्ट कमर्शियल कोर्ट एक्ट जो एक स्पेशल एक्ट है ये जो ऑनरेबल एपेक्स कोर्ट की दोनों नजीरें हैं 2022 और 2015 इन सब को मद्देनजर रख करके एक एफर्ट इफेक्टिव एफर्ट हो सकता है कि लोक अदालत के माध्यम से इसको हम इसका निस्तारण करें और यद्यपि हो सकता है रिस्पांस हम लोगों को मात्र 10 परसेंट पांच परसेंट मिले बट आई एम श्योर दैट विद पैसेज ऑफ टाइम व्हेन द मैसेज परगुलेट्स इन द सोसाइटी कुछ ना कुछ इसका रिजल्ट अवश्य निकलेगा दिस इज व्हाट एट द आउटसेट एंड नाउ आई थिंक आई विल रिक्वेस्ट समीर जी टू टेक ओवर कुछ आप अपने व्यूज एक्सप्रेस कर दीजिए एंड देन वी विल रिक्वेस्ट एवरीबडी फॉर अ क्वेश्चन आंसर एंड इंटरक्टिव सेशन और Uh, मैं इस ऑगस्ट गैदरिंग से यह भी कहूंगा कि आप लोग इतने वेल एक्सपीरियंस्ड हैं हम लोग को भी आप एजुकेट करिए अगर कहीं कोई सोल्यूशन है तो आई एम श्योर दैट ऑल ऑफ अस अगर आप कोई इफेक्टिव सोल्यूशन देते हैं आपका कोई अच्छा सजेशन है तो आज हम लोग 700 800 लोगों की तादाद में सब लोग बैठे हुए हैं आई एम श्योर दैट ऑल ऑफ अस विल गेन विद दिस एक्सपीरियंस थैंक यू सो मच